Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to go over how to draw Gamera. Gamera is a great kaiju. He's awesome. He's second to Godzilla, kind of ish. Well, series wise, probably, maybe. I don't know. I like King Kong. I love Godzilla the most, though. Um, but he's an amazing character. We're going to go through how to draw him step by step. Um, and that's all you need to know, okay? Very simple stuff. Let's jump into it. Um, like I said, it's going to be about 10 minute video, so nothing too long. Um, so if you love kaijus, you love monsters, absolutely hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification. Um, I'm going to be posting throughout the year, every weekday, once a day. So, you know, hit the subscribe and you're going to see what I'm posting, okay? Whew. Also, feel free to suggest stuff. I need it right now. Some suggestions, all right? All right, first thing I do is pull a line here for the front of Gamera's head. He's like a turtle, kind of. Pull back over here. Pull back over here for the, kind of the brow of Gamera. We're, we're working on his head first. Line over here for the other uh, kind of brow. Curve lines here. Dot over here. Line over here uh, for kind of Gamera's mouth. Line in here because he's going to be kind of angry ish ish. And then we're going to draw a little line underneath here to give him some character, like the skin is folding around the eye. <clears throat> line over here. down and let's go over here and uh, draw the tusk he has tusks on the bottom here probably have this one come up here and I'm gonna draw the teeth coming down first because he's got an open mouth right here <laughs> right here Line over here. Down, open here. <sighs> All right. Um, I'm going to go to the back far end over here, draw the other tusk on the far end, and then I'm going to draw the shape in the back as he's opening his mouth here. Line here, line here. His tongue, his tongue is in there. And I'm going to fill in the back here. Let's draw the rest of his neck kind of downward here. Down over here for his turtle neck. Down. Back over here uh, for his shell because he's got a turtle shell. And we're going to draw the top of that right there. I love Gamera, like I said. Let me know if you know who he is. Hopefully, if you clicked on this, you know exactly who he is. Um, he's somebody I didn't really know much about until I bought uh, his movie set, and it was amazing uh, to watch that stuff, especially the new ones. Line over here, in for the front plate of his chest. Over here, you know how turtles have that front kind of plate for the underneath? Line over here. Let's draw his arm. Bam. Down. Over here as well. We're going to draw the forearm over here. And we're going to have the claws coming out there. And we're going to draw his hand as more or less like a big shovely hand. Pulling up. Going to go over here. Kind of on uh, this end over here. We're going to have his... Bottom of his shell over here as well, bottom of his shell. And we're gonna have his arm, the other one just kinda downward here. 
And we, you know what, let's draw the end of this hand as well here on this side. He does have, uh, kind of has a an opposable thumb, but not really. So that one's going to go this direction. We're going to pull up here and inward. So everything is plain up until you, well, let me see, here's the other side of the shell. Everything is pretty plain right here, see? Until you add some like folds and details. So example, on the front plate, I'm going to draw this, like thinner lines right here. Curling in, curling in, curling in. All right here, all right here, and here as well, line over here, and he's got kind of like this reptile skin all over, so you can kind of do that all over the place. Same thing over here. And you can draw the far side of the shell on the uh, on the far end. Let's draw thin lines in this area. Same thing along the arm over here. He doesn't have like big muscly arms. He has more like these kind of dinosaur monster arms, more like the early stage dinosaurs. You know, when you look at um, you know dinosaurs they drew in the fifties and things like that, uh, they kind of drew them more upright which i think where godzilla came from a lot of it was early dinosaur um kind of stuff and these thin lines they allow you to again create uh, a texture and a form and that's kind of why i think they're really valuable and you're drawing these little nicks and lines all over the place um again it kind of enhances uh kind of makes that better way better and we're gonna vignette it right right here it'll be fine you know whatever it's uh And you can put little scratches in this area. Um, and then we just, honestly, the rest of it is like little nicks and scratches everywhere. You're throwing stuff that goes with the form right here. Again, it's kind of folding in the neck. And so that's kind of, you know, oh, you can put like a nostril there too. I think Gamera does have a nostril. <laughs> and that's pretty much it that is Gamera uh, if anyone knows who that is like I said I don't know like please tell me you know who that is like I said if you clicked on this shout out some Gamera fans come on come on you gotta be there hit me up in the comments thank you so much I appreciate it you are amazing everybody's super nice don't forget to hit the like and also share the video with a friend uh, to keep this channel active and going through the off season um, and stay here for the uh, announcement after this okay see you later so if you're looking to upgrade your art skill overall I highly, highly recommend you check out my Skillshare. It's also completely for beginners. The biggest difference is these are hour long courses on drawing, like I said. So if you're starting out, this is perfect for you as well. It's just that I take longer on each particular topic to really ingrain it in you. And this is how people fully level up their art skill uh, if you're serious about it. Um, so like I said, I have things here on the basics of drawing. I have the, the anatomy. I go over uh, anime as well. I go over cartoons as well here. I go over drawing basics. Uh, also fantasy art topics like dragons and things of that sort. There's a dragon drawing video here. Um, this is like pretty much the mecca for stuff like this. What you should do as well. Normally this stuff is like $40, right? The, the whole website. But go to the link in the description of the YouTube video you're watching right now. Go down, check out the link with the hearts on it. Uh, right below that, click that link for Skillshare. And that will give you at least the first, uh, I think the first 100, 100 people, it's going to give you a free month of Skillshare. So basically you can see everything on this thing completely for free for a month um, without paying anything. So that's what's cool about it. So like I said, this is only for the, you know, people that are very, very, you know, they really want to do this and they really want to put a lot of time into this. Go check this out. Thank you so much. And good. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, see you soon.